Hi, very good morning. Today's topic is numerical stability analysis. We start with the lax equivalence theorem. It states that for a consistent finite difference method for a well-posed linear initial value problem, the method is convergent if and only if it is stable. From this, we can understand the importance of numerical stability analysis. Most popular numerical stability analyses are based on the Fourier series. The first one on the list is von Neumann's stability analysis. The analysis is based on the Fourier decomposition of numerical error and was developed at Los Alamos National Laboratory after having been briefly described in a 1947 article by British researchers Crank and Nicholson. Later, the method was given a more rigorous treatment in an article co-authored by John von Neumann. Assumptions in von Neumann's stability analysis are the PDE and the finite difference scheme models are linear. The PDE should be constant coefficient with periodic boundary conditions. PDE has only two independent variables. The time integration scheme uses no more than two levels. We shall briefly learn about von Neumann's stability analysis on linear heat equation. The 1D heat equation is discretizing using forward in time and second order central scheme in space gives, where R is the diffusion number. We define epsilon as the difference between numerical and analytical solutions, which in turn gives the following equation. This means error follows the dynamics of the PDE. We shall cross-check this assumption later. Writing U in spectral space gives the following equation. Error at different grid points R. Substituting this in error equation gives, for convenience, we define. Using the following identity, we can write the error equation in the following form. We define the numerical amplification factor as, to ensure stability, the error should not grow over iteration, the absolute value of G should be less than 1. So the error equation is, we know the square of sine is always positive, so this term is always positive. The condition for stability can be written as the maximum value of the square of the sine term is positive, so the condition for stability is the diffusion number should be less than 0 0.5. If you look at the contour plot of the numerical amplification factor, you can notice all the contour lines are less than 1 when the diffusion number is less than 0 0.5. Congratulations! You have learned how to apply von Neumann stability analysis. Now we shall cross-check the assumption used in this analysis that the error follows the dynamics of the equation. For this, we have chosen the linear convection equation, diffusion equation, and convection diffusion equation with periodic boundary condition using two initial conditions. The first one is the sine curve, which has one wave number, and the second one is the Gaussian pulse, which has a range of wave numbers. When we apply the sine A curve to the equations we consider, the error follows the dynamics of the governing equation. The error is normalized to match the exact solution. When we apply the Gaussian pulse to the equations, the error does not follow the dynamics of the governing equation. From this, it is evident that the assumption error follows the dynamics of the governing equation is valid when we have single or multiple wave numbers present in the solution and may not be valid when a range of wave numbers is present in the solution. In most of the linear cases, von Neumann's stability analysis works well even if some of the assumptions are violated. This is the test case where we have non-periodic boundary conditions and we used diffusion number 0.5. When we increase that to 0.51, solution diverges. 
Though von Neumann's stability analysis is not applicable to nonlinear equations, it is quite robust on linear equations. In the next video, we shall see some other advanced stability analyses, like approximate dispersion analysis, positivity, and monotonicity. We also see where we can apply them and where those will not work. Please comment if there are any mistakes or anything I missed. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.